Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the game coming. We are about to play a new Civ 6 series in Gathering Storm, and I have these Civ 6 random civilization drafter pulled up on screen because, well, this is the third attempt I have at picking a Civ. We were just doing like a random shuffle all, and it kept giving us Civs that we've already played as, so I'm like, all right, fine, we'll go into the Civ 6 random drafter. We're trying to play as Civs that we don't have in the Hall of Fame because we didn't input any of our previous victories, so we're trying to basically get through all the Civs a second time. So you can see all the ones crossed out are the ones that we've won as, I'm pretty sure. Um, Elnor isn't necessarily up there. Uh, like, I think I left both France and England, but we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, I don't know if there were any other... What about Greece? Did we cut out Greece? Did we win as either of the Greases? I don't know. I'm really concerned that when I do this, and I really don't want to hit next, because I'm so concerned it's going to pop up Khmer. <laughs> I don't want to place Khmer. All right, here goes nothing. Three, two, one... Scythia. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we're going to go single player. We're going to create a game. We're going to go advanced setup, and we're going to pick Scythia. Heck yeah, dude. I am so excited for that. Scythia is down near the bottom. Tomaris, thank you. And we are going to go up to Deity. Now, it has been a long time since I played Scythia. Scythia was the third series I've ever, uh, I ever did on my channel, and we absolutely destroyed it. Actually, maybe she was the second. We started with China, and this was before I was playing on Deity. And then I'm pretty sure she might have been the second one, actually. Or she was the third, I don't remember. I'd have to go back and look. Okay, resources, abundant, start position, balance. We're gonna do shuffle map just because. Uh, I know we could do, you know, a map that would benefit us, like Pangea or Mirror or something like that, but nah, 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 nah. All right, let's start. Oh, I'm excited. So I do remember she spawns out or she gets two cab for the price of one, I think. And she's going to be even better now that there's extra light cab, right? All units receive plus five combat strength when attacking wounded age. units. Oh my gosh. Command when they eliminate a unit, they heal up to 30 points. Steps. I remember you that. I think forward. originally it used to be 100. And then I think they nerfed quest. it to 50 and now it's nerfed all the way to 30. <laughs> receive a second light cavalry unit or Saka horse archer every time you train a light cab unit or a Saka horse arch. And then we get the horse archer, which is early unit. And then the Kurgan, which I think is pretty worthless. Scythia is definitely one of the better civs in the game. Uh, multiplayer, a lot of times you'll see people who basically say you can't play a Scythia just because she can just be absolutely ridiculous. I mean, that plus five combat strength and when attacking wounded units essentially is going to flip. And so the game gives us the worst start ever. I think it's fine. It's fine. She probably has a priority in spawning, actually, in planes. I'm going to actually pull this up. I have it saved in my phone, so you guys can't see it. Um, where are my favorites? Favorites. Where's the priorities? Uh, there we go. Scythia. She has two. She has a tier two spawning next to horses, and then a tier five bias towards grass and planes. So, yeah, we're going to have horses around us, and we're, we're always going to have a bunch of grass and plains. So, unfortunately, we're not going to get a lot of production as her, which is maybe a bit of a, a, a reason why she's not one of the best civs in the game, but still. Receive a second like cab, yeah, 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 plus five when you heal. Oh, I never finished my thoughts. So the biggest thing with that is the deity, they get plus four on combat strength, and this is all units. So if my swordman is attacking someone else's swordsman on deity, usually they're gonna have plus four combat strength against me. They're gonna be 40 to my 36, you know, if there's no terrain bonuses. Now with that plus five, I'm basically, every one of my units at equal level is always going to be better uh, against an AI unit as long as they're injured. So that is just amazing. Plus the healing. Oh, so nice. So nice. So nice. Uh, and then the Saka Horse Arch is something we're going to have to build right away in horseback riding. Okay. They got 25 range. So essentially they're archers with a lot of movement points. And that's really good. We're going to want a bunch of those because we can damage enemy units and then kill them with our melee troops. And then, last but not least, the Kurgan. Unlocks the builder, construct Kurgan unique to Scythia, plus one faith, plus one gold, plus one faith for each adjacent pasture. So what's interesting about this, and someone mentioned this with our Georgia playthrough, if we start with Yurvin around us, we could totally farm barbarians by uh, 
getting some apostles if we get a religion. Is that something we're going to want to do? Probably not, but it is a possibility. Also, this is rather interesting with the desert plains right there. Is there anything anywhere that's going to look better for us? Oh, I mean, I really almost would rather settle over here just because of this, but we know that there's going to be horses here. I almost want to go here just so I can access this hill a little earlier. Because this is still going to be a 2-1. So wherever I settle, it's going to be a 2-1. So I think I might as well just settle Several here. Oh my god, we have Toros Del Plain. <laughs> yes! I should have actually noticed with this uh, being a 2-2. I honestly thought it was a hill because, it, you know, the, the, the graphical. Oh my god. Alright, we won the game, guys. We won the game. <laughs> All we need to do is not die. All we have to do is survive early game. I think we're going to be fine. I kind of want to go astrology. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to I kind of want to do astrology just because. But we we got to make sure we don't blow this. We got to make sure we don't blow this. Hello barbarians. The water back my gosh, my dude. Four tile natural wonder provides one science, one culture, four gold. I don't see this one a whole lot. Interesting. Uh 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. Okay. We will be able to kill you. You're actually going to suicide into me. I'm fine with that. I am totally fine with that. Immediately knock you out. I don't think his scout's close enough to hit me, and even if he is, he's not gonna kill me, so. There you go, and you have a level. Beautiful. Dude, we are off to an absolutely killer start. Like, I cannot tell you how great of a start this is so far. Uh, and it looks like we got another lake over here. So hopefully, and we got a mountain here. So hopefully there's some hills and we can get some campuses and some good production popping out. I mean, you can see this is absolutely terrible. Uh, we have the money now. Go ahead and grab the tutu. Thank you. And you should be working that tutu. Yes, you are. Let's go here because I want to see what's up over here. And we're going to be able to go on the coast on this lake too. <sighs> so I'm thinking city probably like right around here. So what do we need? I need a Pantheon. So I can get a free settler here. Yeah, but there's just no easy way to grab it. There really isn't. We're not gaining extra culture. We're not gaining extra faith. Oh, and we started next to a scientific city state. Oh my gosh. Guys, please be Geneva. Actually, Geneva probably isn't that useful for us because we're going to be at war a lot. Hello. Fez. Fez is religious unit to convert a city earn science. We were the first one, right? Dang it. Frick. That means someone's down here. We have two options here. We could conquer Fez eventually. Because it's a pretty okay city, it looks like it's going to be. I wish you would have put it right on the coast, though. That's the only thing. I, I'm really wondering. I'm debating whether or not we want to get a religion. Oh, no, oh my God, it's Canada. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. All right, we're going for a religion, guys. Yeah, we're going for a religion. Uh, send you a delegation. Because with Canada right there... We don't have to worry about him declaring on us. Because he won't declare a surprise war. I mean, I guess he could denounce us. You know, that is a possibility. But unlikely. We have one more turn before we can go with the settler. Uh, go ahead and start another warrior. That's actually just hilarious. I probably should send you up this way. I'm yeah. Fond of pigs. Yeah. And we are going to go for that religion. We have it boosted. And I think I will put... Yeah. 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 So, I need a builder. That's kind of what we're looking for right now. We probably do want to come settle over here as well with our second city. Uh, speaking of which, I need you to pop out a settler as quick as possible. Because we need to cut off the Torrell's Del Plain. I might actually have you loop around just so we can see where the best spot is over here. More horses over here. Not bad kind of surprised uh, I guess we got two horses in our city and I if we would have put our city there we would have had two horses so there might actually probably be more horses right here too good coast that's what I want to see 
coast as well. Most likely, we will put this city on top of the horses, I think. Oh my god. Canada's gonna get a lot of horses just because of us. We might actually just block them in right here? Freaking barbarians. Oh my god. Oh, it's a lake! Even better! Even better. Alright, we're gonna be under attack here. Do I wanna block him in? That is best. I mean, I kinda do? I'm not gonna lie? I'm not gonna lie? This is a tough one, man. Uh, give me foreign trade, because if we can get that trade route going... I know, like, you could go conquer Canada really early on, blah, blah, blah. We're not super close to Canada, number one. Number two, we can't surprise war. Number three, he's pretty defensive here, because he's got a lot of hills. So it's not going to be super easy to declare on him. So, for those reasons, I think I'm going to focus on solidifying our empire early game. And, you know, getting a religion going. And then absolutely wrecking everyone. He's got Tundra down here. I just really need to get the second city up. Oh my god, barbarians. Did you seriously spawn five feet from me? Oh my god, barbarians. I'm going to go this way in hopes that he's going to run away that way. It's kind of the goal here. He did not see my city center, so he's not alerted. I'm hoping you're going to help me by killing this guy off. That would be extraordinarily useful. We have nothing to trade, right? We didn't settle on anything that we discovered recently. He is running the other way, which is kind of useful. He's not going to be able to move out of zone of control. So he'd be able to go there, there, there. So I might as well go here and then this is a guarantee kill. I'm slightly worried about this guy. Or you could just suicide into my city center. Did his encampment just get killed? I actually think his encampment might have just been destroyed. I don't believe it. Mm hmm Why else would he suicide? I mean, I suppose he was trapped. But generally, they still wouldn't do that. Now, here's the only potential issue with this. When are we going to find time to build... And we're going to put it there. I'm not going to put it here. I'm not going to waste. I'm not going to waste the sexy 2-2. Two -two. Do we want to go grab another 2-2? Two -two? I think so. Oh, it's 80. Shoot. We can grab it next turn. But you're actually going to lose a population. Oh, no, you didn't. You gained it right back. I am going to grab the other 2-2. Two -two. Okay. We're basically trying to keep you alive, just making sure that the Barbarian Scout doesn't come and ninja you. Um, this looks like it's the end of... Ah, maybe, because this is a lake, so there should still be some more tiles over here. Hmm, interesting. Trying to figure out. Okay, okay. And then you're going to go settle right there. And we're going to be good to go. I think I'm just going to loop you around and come help out. Yeah, I think that's going to be our best option. So we got our second city down. We are still a long way away from a Pantheon. A long way. Uh, let's get some more warriors. Nah, I need... We are... Okay, we are gaining horses right now. So we what we need to do is we need to get the horseback riding. I still like the idea of mining, though. We have enough 2-2s. Two you know what? No. Forget mining. We'll get you later. Yeah, we should go straight for horses. That's going to be our best option. I think so. Okay, you're coming over here. We're going to go wipe you out. We also have potentially more room over here to settle. I'm a little concerned about how slow this Pantheon is. Oh, hold up. I need to switch to a holy site. Plus one. Uh, switch over here. And then you're going to go knock out another settler before the warrior. I think we lost the turn, actually, but that's fine. I kind of also need some more warriors just to keep Canada off our butt because there's a chance they might denounce us. Uh, they're at 125. So that's their normal start spot. He spawned out another settler or another uh, scout. I can actually straight kill you. I don't want to straight kill you because I want this guy to get some XP, but... Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Six turns. We got definitely a little greedy on this one. If I end up losing this, 
I'm gonna be a little mad at myself, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Okay, you're leveled, good, good, good. So I need to send you that way, I need to send him up there. I still don't have enough money to purchase a warrior because we've been spending all of our money on other things, which is why we're popping out That's another warrior the there. Okay, aspect. okay, okay, I agree with this. This is not a bad idea, what we're doing right now. Then I want that trade route as quickly as possible. Uh, China's over here. Interesting, do we want to meet China? Yeah, I think so. Because we really want to settle over here. And we're going to have to see what our loyalty is looking like. And it's not like we're going to be able to hold off forever. Like, from meeting them. They're eventually going to send someone and meet us. Let's go ahead and heal you just a little bit, though. Uh, also, I meant to heal you. Oh, I meant to go up on that hill. Dang it. <laughs> Wrong buttons. Wrong buttons. You gain plus 10. Okay, there's the coast. Come search. Let's wait one more turn. We are almost at 20 horsies. Good, good, good. Six population. We're at three, four, five. We still got some time to go. I feel like you should be growing a little quicker, just to be honest. All right, that's close enough. Let's get you over here. Feeling good. There is our potential religion. Now the question is... Anyone have a religion? No. Is anyone going for a religion? Absolutely not. Okay, then. I think let's get the city. I think let's get the city, and then we're going to do holy side prayers. I don't care about being the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Like, as long as I'm in the top six. Oh, that's Ottomans, actually. All right. Let's go. Let's see who's more aggressive. Ew. This is going to be kind of hard to attack him. Just going to throw that out there. Okay, I still have full loyalty there. And as this grows, this one should be fine. Okay, I might just keep you here for the time being, just to kind of keep you protected, just so no one can settle on this. Yeah. Yeah, we got to keep an eye out for Canada, though, but I don't necessarily... See well, remember, Canada can't surprise war, so we don't actually have to look out for them. Wait, why do you like us? Okay, I'll be friends with him. Yeah, for now, that just keeps uh, us from being attacked, and I'm fine with that, because eventually we are going to go destroy. All right, got a little worried there. He's still going to have to wait five turns after he declares on us, or after he denounces us. We are three turns away from our free settler, who we will put immediately right down here. Gulf of St. Lawrence. So Canada saw that. We still got potentially a lot of room over here as well. Man, I need this builder. I need money. I need a lot of things. I need a builder so I can build on this, so I can sell it off, so I can get some money. Hmm. I might actually come and scout through the rest of that. Might as well. Because I want to buy a warrior so I can go scout up there. This might belong only to us. Canada, what are you doing? What are you doing, Canada? He's not denounced us. It's worth noting. It's worth noting. Doesn't make it any less scary. We're gonna kill you. Because we might as well. It looks like this loops around. Would love some archers. Would love some archers. Although, honestly, probably just grab our Sokka horse archers. There's no reason to build an archer versus a Sokka horse archer. Mm -mm. We need to build a pasture. So I need a builder. I guess we'll see next turn whether or not we get a settler, because if we don't get a settler, then we might... Well, we will grab the builder instead. Okay. I would have to put a city one, two... No, I'd have to go here. So it's unlikely I'm going to ever be able to settle over here. Because Canada's right there. That's probably fine. Probably fine. We are going to come loop around. This is someone else. Egypt. Yep. I am actually not wanting to meet them right now. Dang it. <laughs> uh, I was trying to save that for the next era. Although, 
then again, now we won't get a religion this time. Dang. Urgh. Can we get? They took it. They freaking took it. Ah, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. We could get extra culture, but like, who cares? Potentially strategic resources. I mean, we have a lot of horses. You know. Horses are strategic, right? Strategic. I, yeah, they should be strategic resource from improved strategic resources. So we could get an extra production. I almost feel though like we have to grab the builder just so we can build. Mm, that sucks, man. That really sucks. 200 to buy. How long to build? Nine turns, six turns. I need this third city. Nine turns is a little too slow. But the extra faith would be so nice. It really kind of comes down to how much iron I have. And having this many horses, I'm going to kind of assume we're not going to have that much iron. Which means we're only going to make... This one's not going to be improved, so it's only going to be like two production, two faith, and then potentially something over here. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the free builder. I think I'm going to take the builder. Uh, dang it, I'm so mad they took the settler one. We were just a hair too slow. All right, someone actually has a religion up. We got to keep an eye on that. And we're the only one currently looking for a religion. Now, Temple Artemis, is that camp? And that is not a camp, that's a pasture. Okay, just double checking on that. So I want you there just in case we see Ottomans come with the settler there, um, just so they don't settle there. But if they go settle there, I can't do anything about it. Uh, what else do we want to do with you? I could build my unique building, but that's not going to give us enough. So instead, come down here and get the olives so I can sell, and we can buy another warrior. And hopefully we can get through Egypt. I forgot to trade her a delegation. Well, I know we, who we're going to declare war on first. <laughs> Although, killing that encampment should make her like us, hopefully. God, I wish the sheep were, like, right here. It'd be so good. Ah, it's just all these planes. It's just so disappointing that they're all planes, man. <laughs> what does my unique building do again? It's plus one faith, right? Plus one faith, plus one gold. And temple, or the planes, double terrain yield. So no, it wouldn't give us anything. Wait. No, it wouldn't give us extra. All right, go to St. John. Actually... Go here and then go to St. John. And that hopefully is going to make him like us. And then... Give me another warrior. Yeah, let's do it. He's got ideal defense. That sucks be a little harder to take them oh uh, but you're gonna suicide at me and you just lost your fortification bonus okay cool thank you so that should let egypt like us ever so slightly more uh 24 minutes okay it's like i feel like i've been doing this for a while good 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 and then we can purchase you grab i don't have irrigation brian every freaking And you know what really sucks? I could have built my, eh, you know, I think unique buildings plus four, right? So we might be able to. 
get a golden age? Perhaps? Maybe? Yeah, because we got plus one there, too. Yeah. Yeah, it should at least be plus three. Okay. Okay. We'll get a golden age, at least. Not all is lost. Kind of screwed up a little bit, but... That's fine. Plus four. Okay. And it does not double the bonus of those. It's only a two, two, one, one. That's fine. That's fine. And I want to save your third for that. Forget the sheep. We got enough good tiles here. We have a bunch of two twos. Although that would be a two three, I think. Uh, right? Pretty sure the pastures plus one production. So that would be a two three, but eh. Nah. You are losing loyalty. That's okay though, because we're three turns away from governor. And forget this horse, dude. Uh, by the way, double checking. Do you like me more now? No. Hmm. You should like me more now. Kind of disappointed by that. You show no signs of mastering this matter. Uh, sorry? Gosh dang it with these freaking encampments. <laughs> uh, he's actually friendly with us, so that's fine. Make deal. Oh yeah, I don't have... Also, did another encampment spawn down here? We have to finish this. I have to get my Sokka horse archers popping up, I think. We probably even want to get an encampment or two. Just so we can get the bonus experience. The other thing we could do is we could trade some horses. The thing is, I don't know, because we're maxed out. No, he'll pay us. He'll pay us. Not a lot, though. Hmm. I don't like that. I don't really want to get to Egypt. I don't necessarily want to give it to Canada. Although Canada does have horses. So they might like it a little bit more. No. So you're basically paying me 91 gold. You are going to pay me... 98 gold. Fine. Just give me cash. Because I'm trying to buy another warrior here. So, whatever. 75 at least. Really? Really? Come on, buddy. <sighs> the things I accept, man. Or would we rather just save our money and buy the Sokka Horse Arch? Because we'll get two of them for the price of one. Uh, what? Horse, archer, Saka, S-A-K-E. Uh, how much did they cost to purchase 400 gold? Mm, that's gonna be a little hard. I think we're just gonna have to build them. Receive a second each time you train. Okay, I just wanted to make sure we didn't need a uh, thing in there. So I am just gonna buy another uh, warrior. And we'll build it. You need to keep popping out cities, but I do like the Holy Shite Prayer. Just go away, warrior, for now. Uh, how are we doing here? Someone else is getting a religion. Still only one religion, so we should be fine. And you're gonna come here and kill this guy. Hopefully he attacks out again, because that is nice. And I'm gonna go kill you while we're here. Okay, we're getting close. Early Empire and horse riding are now officially done. So we will get our unique unit next turn, which is gonna be nice, or next era. So hopefully we can avoid a dark era. <gasps> He hates us because of the golden age. <coughs> I guess I can put a city there. Which isn't end of the world. I can't let him here. So I have to block that. And then we have to block here too. And so if he settles here, that's fine. But if I can go there, then he has to settle there. And we are in so much better of a position. Oh my god, these barbarians are relentless. Jeez, dude. Okay, dedication. We got the golden age. Do we want movement with archers? Or we can purchase 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 civilian units with faith. I don't think I care about spreading my religion. 
And I really don't want to waste my faith here. So I think we're going to do the Eureka. And essentially, we're just going to get an extra 10% when we build our, you know. We should have that one, so we'll get an extra 10%. Basically, we'll save one turn. We'll get this eventually. We'll get the quarry eventually. Hopefully, we can get some iron popping out. That would also be nice, but okay. Uh, Do we want iron? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably at this point. Uh, And then you are still... Oh, crap, Brian. You were blocking. That was the whole point. You were existing there was to block. <sighs> I'm good with that. I'm good with that. He can settle there. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Why didn't he move right here? I think he's trying to get onto this tile. Okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. There's literally nothing he can do right now. And in fact, I could even go here and let him go up there, just so he doesn't settle there. But we're fine, we're fine. Whew. Got sketchy there, it got sketchy there, but we're good. You're dead. Congratulations, error score, cool. More production in our capital. Uh, pop out more settlers. What's our religion looking like? There's still only one of five. We are about halfway there. Uh, fine, we'll do one more. One more, but I need more settlers. Because we, like, we got to get over here. We got to get up here. There's just, like, a lot of places. We don't want to fall too far behind. And this is only City 3 right now, so. Your army is weak. Now, the other thing we could do is put some warriors, in a hole? surround him, and then surprise war him. Well, you know, denounce him and then go for a surprise war. Y I mean, y yeah, you get what I'm saying here. We're good. Brian, what are we doing? Get irrigation. <laughs> uh. Well, he can still bypass me here. Me, me, me. I think we are probably going to prepare here for a war with Canada, even though I don't want to. Uh, give me the monument because you're in a bit of a sketchy spot. Uh, is there any towel we could buy to make life better? Nah, two one two one. We could buy up to here, just so you have the two two. But is he going to settle here? Okay. That will flip to me, so I'm totally cool with that. It's essentially giving me a free city. He got a Golden Age 2, which is kind of disappointing, so I won't flip him quite as quickly, but... Yeah, sure. If you want to do that, buddy, go for it. He also could just be... trying to get back around. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to get back around. I'm still going to kind of stick near him, because I might want to come ninja him. If we could block him in our territory, that would just be amazing. We seem to have a lot of room up here. I really want a city here, it looks like, our next one. Oh, we gotta wrap this episode up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, come and show your support. I'll see you guys next episode. Later, everybody.